The last thing you would expect to see in an internment camp is a baseball game, but yet there it was. As 17,000 people funneled into Zetamura Field in the Gila River Japanese internment camp during World War II, they were able to take their minds off one of the worst things in Japanese American history. The bombing of Pearl Harbor was banned for all of America, but in the end, Japanese Americans got the worst of it. We hear many stories today about these tough times. However, one story is different from the rest, a story less told, the story of Kenichi Zenimura. Tensions were high between Japanese Americans and the rest of America due to the bombing of Pearl Harbor. On February 19, 1942, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066. This began the nearly four-year internment of Japanese Americans. They were sent to internment camps across the country. The conditions of these camps were far from ideal. Well, Uncle Sam and we Americans, we like to use euphemistic words um, or invent words uh, if we think certain, certain other words are too harsh. So they call them relocation centers. They were, they were America's versions of concentration camps. Zenomura was born in Hiroshima, Japan, and moved to Hawaii at an early age. He grew up playing baseball. During internment, many people lost hope. Many people gave up, but not Kenichi Zenomura. Two weeks after being interned, Zenomura got to work. He began to construct the first baseball field in the Gila River War Relocation Center. The field wasn't just a place to play baseball. It was a place for internees to take their minds off things. They had just lost everything they had. Internees came from all over the camp to help with construction of the field. When it was finished, it was named Zenomura Field. On opening day, Zenomura's team won 8-0. This historical event would be the first of many. As people caught wind of the games, they became more and more popular. They got so popular, in fact, that some games had up to 17,000 observers. Fields started popping up throughout internment camps across America. Games were played nightly. There were some of the only things people looked forward to in the camps. People of all shapes and sizes went to the games. In some cases, they were the first baseball games the internees had ever seen. The games gave the internees hope, which was something they desperately needed. The one thing the government didn't take away was baseball. The sport was an integral part of the community and the culture for decades. Incredibly, the internees, both men and women, built fields, recreated their teams, and formed leagues bringing hope and dignity to the community. Even with the daily humiliation and the despair of the camps ever present, baseball brought a semblance of their American life back to them. Internees weren't the only people drawn into these games. Semi-pro teams that played locally wanted a crack at the Gila River All-Stars, which were a collection of the best players from the Gila River internment camp. Stories were told that Zenomura excelled at all nine positions on the field. On one occasion, the All-Stars were challenged by the Tucson Badgers. When the Badgers entered Zenomura Field, they had a perfect 52-win, zero-loss record. When they left Zenomura Field, they had a 52 win and one loss record. In 1945, the camp was closed. When Zenomura left, he continued playing competitive baseball until the age of 55. Zenomura Field became an olive orchard. Although the field is gone, Zenomura's legacy lives on. Today, the original home plate from Zenomura Field is kept in the Baseball Hall of Fame. On November 13th, 1968, in Fresno, California, Kenichi Zenomura died in a car accident, leaving his legacy behind. He didn't just bring baseball to internment camps, he changed lives.